What's up, guys? I want to make a little Callisto guide uh, this evening and basically show you how I kill Callisto. Now, I've been a little bit burnt from Nightmare, I'm just going to admit. And I was going to make a ramble today, but I decided against that. But I uh, I do want to make this guide. So I've been doing a little bit of Wildy Slayer. And I figured some of the, like, some of the uh, monsters that you're assigned... Um, like, there's, like, a new Wildy Slayer cave. Okay, I'm pretty, like, jumbled right now. But basically what I want to say is I might make little guides on how to do Wildy Slayer uh, efficiently. Or I don't know if I can really say it efficiently, but just the way I do it. And give you little guides on where I stand on certain Slayer tasks in, in the Wildy. Um, and just other things like that, like how I kill the bosses. Just so Wildy Slayer is a little bit more familiar to you guys. Because I know a lot of people just are terrified of the wilderness. Um, so I kind of want to make it a little bit more simple and just show you like little videos of this. Now I'll like, I'll admit I'm pretty burnt of nightmare right now, but, uh, I will be back to it tomorrow. Just, I want to, while I'm off stream, I figure like, I'm like extremely burnt from nightmare and it's like, uh, I might as well just do something else with like productive with my time. I still need the full Dagon high set. Uh, so I've been doing some Willy Slayer for Laren's keys. Anyway, this is the Callisto guide um, I want to make for you guys. So this is the inventory I use. A Wildy Crab's uh, teleport from LMS is nice. If not, you can just bring the Wildy Sword 4. Um, I bring Blighted uh, supplies just to save on like my actual herb lore potions. And then I bring an Anti-Venom for the spiders. And the gear, this gear can be a little bit uh, just... It can be set up differently, obviously, if you don't have certain things. But this is the gear I use. My cape is locked. My Avernix locked. My fighter torso is locked uh, from Trover's. Uh, they're, they're Trover parchments, I think they're called. Get them at the LMS shop. And basically what it does is you pay like 500k to Purdue. And then he transforms the Trover parchment into the item. So... If I die to like a PK -er or to the boss, I think even if you die in a PVM death, you'll lose the parchment on these. I'm pretty sure on that. So it is kind of a riskier setup, but I still like it. So this is what I'd be losing. Let's turn this on real quick. So this is this is the stuff I lose. This is the stuff I keep, which is really nice. Now these things would lose their parchments, but I don't. It's pretty hard to die at Callisto unless you get caught in multi. Anyway, so I bring about a thousand to two thousand charges on my Vigora's chain mace and make sure it's on spike. And yeah, let's go out there and give it a shot. Hopefully, um, hopefully nobody's attacked my current Cal the the Callisto out here. This is just I just hopped to this world, so we'll see if it's damage. It's probably damage. Most likely, if you're an Iron Man, you won't even get loot for the first kill. Anyway, here's the tiles, the three tiles that I mark initially. So you can take a little screenshot of this. This is right here. So you can just mark these. This is the tile you're going to run to initially when you're over here. And then as soon as you see Callisto appear, you're going to wait three ticks. So as soon as you see Callisto appear, wait three ticks and run to here. And then one tick after running here, you can run to this tile. So, and... Okay, let me explain this real quick. You can also do this with an alt, so your alt can actually be the one luring Callisto, but you do have to do it flawlessly. Uh, if you get attacked by Callisto or you or you attack Callisto with your alt, your Iron Man won't be able to get the drop unless your Iron Man tanks a hit from Callisto, which can sometimes be like a 60. So, yeah, so if you follow this lure that I do perfectly, that will never happen and you'll have flawless runs. But occasionally, Callisto just won't like he he just won't act good so you get fucked up a little bit but anyway and if you're using an alt you will not be using a longbow the only reason i use this is because the special attack has a guaranteed hit uh, but you'll be using airstrike so the alt would use airstrike and because um callisto is completely allergic to, or not he's completely immune to magic not allergic to it he's immune to it um, every single time will be a splash, so that makes it so he was never actually attacked, and you can do it from a distance so you won't get attacked by Callisto. All right, let's go over there. Um, you can turn on melee if you want. It doesn't really matter. These spiders can poison you, though. So keep your spec on. 
attack Callisto as soon as you see it and run to this tile. Now, as soon as you're here, you're going to wait three ticks and you're going to run south. One, two, three. And it, it's not exactly three, but I just, that's the general rule. And then you run to this tile. Now, you see how I clicked east of those rocks right there? If you were just to spam south, your dude would run to the west of those rocks. So three ticks there. All right, so this is an issue that sometimes happens. Usually happens when you hop to a new world. Anyway, you run back here. So you see Callisto again, three ticks. Run here. There, perfect. Now he's stuck here. Now this is the tile you run to. Now as long as you're attacking him on this side, Callisto has to move all the way to this line. He has to be adjacent to this line. Now, all you do is just attack. These are kind of loud. Turn these down. Anyway, so now this is what I do. I just, every four ticks, turn on my prayer, turn it off. So you waste no prayer. Now, uh, who knows if I'll actually get the drop because like most of the time Callisto's hit somebody or has been hit. So we'll see if I get the loot here, but um, uh, I need to explain this. So if you're using an alt, okay, hopefully that, what is this guy doing? Okay. It's, we're in singles right now, so he couldn't attack it if he wanted to. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he might have already been in this world, and he might have already attacked it, but we'll see. We'll see what the drop is. Anyway, if you're alt, if you're alting this, which is actually a lot faster, and you, it's really nice. The only issue with it is that you have to use two worlds, and sometimes Callisto be, can be kind of packed. Um, anyway, if you're using an alt, your alt would now hop to the second world, run over there, airstrike it, set it up the exact same way, and he'll stay here on this tile. And then as soon as I'm done with this kill, I'd hop to that world, and then your alt can hop. Because if I were to log out right now, Callisto's going to walk back to its safe spot. So there always has to be a person, like, in this vicinity right here. So anyway, let's get this kill real quick, and then I'll show you another setup. And just how long I wait. So if you're doing this just completely solo like I am right now, I'll show you how long I wait for. I bring two stams. It's kind of unnecessary, but I try to preserve my running at all times or, or like my energy. So I wait until Callisto has 10 seconds to spawn and then you can run over there. Or if you're lacking on stamina, you can just walk over there right now, but you do run the risk just being out here for longer just runs the risks of, of being attacked by like a team because I'm in multi now. Anyway, let's get the bow out, get ready to shoot. I keep it on long range. It's not necessary, but you want to stay back from Callisto as much as possible. One, two, three. I click over here first and then I click to the safe spot. And as soon as you see Callisto, wait three ticks. Two, three, run over here. And he's set up perfectly. And then you just repeat the process. So this is a really easy way. Um, it is kind of interesting because um, you can actually kind of defend yourself pretty easily against PKers. Like sometimes, um, like, I haven't killed Callisto in a while, but, like, they have these new LMS sacks. They're, like, these, like, spell sacks that could just hold spells. Anyway, something that's really cool is there's a Vengeance sack. So you can actually um, just be on Lunars and carry, like, five sacks or something that are stackable. And then you can bring, instead of, like, bringing a Torture, you could bring Claws. Claws are really shit here. You'd be surprised. Like, they hit zero, like, probably 90% of the time. But you can bring claws against a PKer. So a PKer, PKers here are, are pretty shit, not gonna lie. So what you can do is wait for them to do like their five take AGS up to you. And you can venge real quick and then switch to claws and claw them out. So I don't know. There's like it's kinda interesting if you if you're running into a PK a lot. Um anyway, that's just a little side note in case and the PKers will like almost always spawn on this hill. So if you want to just be alert, you know, you just watch up this hill. 
Uh, the other thing is you can turn on player indicators on Runelight, and so anytime you see like a red name, it's like really apparent that somebody's just logged in. Anyway, let's do one more kill. And so what you can do is just immediately start walking to save energy. And if you do get attacked by a PKer, just run south to 30. You'll be in singles the entire way as long as you just run directly south. Alright, turn on run. Run to this tile. Three ticks. Again, the three ticks. One tick, two tick, suck my dick. You know, it's not really that important, but this timing right here is pretty important because if you if you delay this, watch, I'll delay it. Watch what happens. So now he's already there. Now if I run over here. Okay, well, that happened really fucking smoothly. Usually when you're running over here, Callista will do this like fucking like lunge attack and it'll just throw you and then you'll have to redo the lure just like he'll like start walking back that one somehow worked out so that's nice so that's what i'm kind of saying the the whole like wait three ticks thing isn't terribly important but it just keeps things smooth is what i've noticed um i'll show you now what is bad to do so if you were to just run from here directly to callisto See how he starts backing up and shit and freaking out? Yeah. You have to click this tile first because you have to be attacking it on the side. Now that he's fucked up, even if I tried to attack him over here. Oh, nice. Okay. That, well, I learned something new, you know? Oh, no. I didn't learn something new. I was going to say, why the fuck isn't he moving? So this is the, the line that you're safe at. So let's try to relure him real quick. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. I think I just have to like attack him and be over here. There we go. Be out of his range and attack him and he'll instantly just start running away. So that's what I'm saying. I purposely messed up right there to show you guys that it's not good. Now here's the thing. Here's the shitty part is once he's fucked up like this, it's pr okay. So watch, I'm going to show you how to reload him. You got to run over here. Okay, occasionally that'll, that was, okay. I've been kind of rambling a little bit, just jumbled ideas, but wildy bosses are really fucked up. They're just, they're just weird. You don't really know what they're going to do. There's no real indicator on where they're going to start running off to. Anyway, that one just worked out. He just ran over here. As long as he's past this tile, you can attack him from the side. And yeah, you'll be good to go. Anyway, what should have happened there is I should have attacked him and he should have started running back. And then what I was going to say is when he's coming back, as soon as you see him, it's not three ticks. It's more like five or six or seven ticks that you have to wait on this tile. Anyway, that's my little guide for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope that helped in some way. I know it's just three kills and you're not going to see every example of the shit that can go wrong. But if you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments. Um, and yeah. Also, I might be stacking up some Laren's keys for an opening. Uh, I kind of want to do like 100, probably. Maybe just 50, because Laren's keys take forever to get. Um, also, I have to tell you, do not do Callisto unless you have a bear task. It is so easy to get a bear task. Like, if you have a mace, I'm saying. If you just have, like, bear axe, um, you don't need a task. But if it's so easy to get a bear task, and you get, like, 90 of them. And you can use slaughter bracelets. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that and hope you guys learned something. And yeah, I will be live tomorrow in the morning for Nightmare. I'm going to go get some sleep right now. It's kind of early, but I'm still going to sleep. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Peace.